All right, back on the Domino's Post Game Report, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Mike Clowney. Mike, you fall today 33-7 to to, to UVA Wise. Uh, again, the the theme has been process uh, over results here early. What steps did your team make today against the Highland Cavaliers uh, in spite of the loss? You know, I think the big thing when we keep talking process, you know, I think at some point we got to, you know, you want to move on a little bit faster pace than we're moving right now. You know, I think some of the steps that we took where we kind of moved around, moved a couple guys around, you know, we knew coming into the game, like there's some things that we just need to be able to take a look at. So we made a determination that we're going to throw some deep balls. You know, we're going to try to, you know, complete some passes. And we were in, you know, competitive situations, but like we weren't able to capitalize on some opportunities that we had. Uh, you, there were at least three balls in the first half. I shouldn't even say balls. Uh, you had guys wide open, middle of the field. Play call is there. Uh, and either the ball doesn't get thrown, uh, one play was a sack, uh, and two is thrown completely the other direction. How do you correct uh, and coach through something like that? You know, I think that's where, where video is so important. So we've, we've got to do a better job of probably, you know, meeting with our quarterbacks and getting them into where they can kind of see a little bit more of, you know, what we expect to happen on the field. We talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. But, you know, they haven't done it in this offense over a long period of time. So we're probably going to have to be, you know, a little bit more intentional, go outside of the regular norm of, of what we've been doing to make sure that we can you know, do a better job preparing guys coming into the ball game. Uh, handed the keys to the offense to the freshman, Marcus Brown. Uh, for the final two and a half quarters of this one. What's your summation of his performance? You know, I thought he did some things well. LaMarcus is a good athlete. You know, he, he's talented with his arm. He's talented with his feet. And so that was one of the big things we felt like we need to try to start doing a little bit better is having someone on the field that's a little bit, you know, more of a dual threat. You know, um, and he played like a freshman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so anytime time you play a freshman, you're going to expect to have, you know, some of those mistakes. But I think you know, he's a competitor, so I think he'll bounce back. Uh, defensively, uh, the guys that have been doing things for you continue to do things uh, at a high level. Alonzo Houston, uh, 15 tackles. Uh, Rondro Peebles, double-digit tackles with uh, a couple sacks. What sticks out to you about that group? You know, I think Rondro and Alonzo have, have – have, they've learned to own the defense. You know, that's one big thing you want for your players to own what you're doing. And I think defensively, you know, those two guys have kind of taken the rest of those guys under their wing and kind of owned the defense. Like, you know, we're going to get it fixed. We're going to get this correct. And that's what we talked to our offense about. You know, at points of times where we got to come back and we've got to be able to own our offense as well. It really, the difference between having veteran 20-plus game career start guys defensively versus an offense that uh, you don't have that. Fair? That's fair. I mean, it really is because when you look at that group, I mean, you know, well, I was looking at trying to figure out, like, when we come to Wise, you know, not too long ago, then, like, there's still a lot of guys that we didn't have – that we got on the field now that we didn't have on the field, you know, even when we're here not too long ago. Uh, you look at the flow of this one. Uh, turnovers certainly didn't help the cause. Uh, three picks, uh, a gutty call on a kickoff by Wise – that uh, Luke Simpson took a BB to the chest uh, from an absolute cannon shot that ended up in uh, a UVA wise recovery. Uh, it, how much did those turnovers end up playing in the grand scheme of things today? You know, turnovers take away opportunities. It is the biggest thing it does for you. You know, and so it takes an opportunity from you and you put it on them. You know, and then the thing that you look at was two of those, I believe, that they were able to capitalize on. So it's a direct result of, you know, us not being able to punt the ball, play field position at worst, you know, and then kind of force them to have to earn everything they get. You know, we give them a short field, you know, an interception, and then they hit us with the onside kick, and then we throw, you know, two more interceptions. Uh, how do you grow from this? Uh, you head to a first-year program in Barton next week. You're second of three on the road. Uh, you, you talked about uh, in the pregame uh, the dam bursts at some point. Uh, how do you ensure that the floodgates open? You know, I think the biggest thing of us growing is like, you know, we talked about the two teams we played before, you know, being really good football teams. And I think Wise has got a good football team. But I think the thing that we learned today is like a lot of what's happening is on us. You know, it's not the team that's on the other side of the field. You know, we've got to figure out what's going on with Carson Newman. And, you know, we've got to figure out how to get our guys in a better position to be able to perform. All right, Mike Clowney, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you next week against Barton. Look forward to it.